Hey guys, today we're going to do a K-drama journal spread, so keep watching to know more. I'm starting off by pulling some of the materials that I'll be using for this spread. First off, I'm using a journal by Everyday Explorers. I will link it down below for you. And I'm whipping out some of my pastel themed stationery because I think it's the most relevant one that I would like to incorporate into this series for this K-drama journal spread. A uh, quick background, I guess my fascination with K-drama hasn't been uh, recent. It's been starting since I was a teenager, but it's only recently that because of Netflix, I've been able to watch a lot of K-drama and catch up on my favorite shows. So I also have some leftover stationery from when I first went to Korea. No, sorry. The first time I went to Korea was actually my first ever trip abroad. So that was like 2005. But recently, I went to Korea like three years ago, 2017, and I did a lot of shopping. I went to Busan also, and I really enjoyed that. So I did cop out, cop, cop? <laughs> I did cop some stationery and stickers, and yeah, I'm just using most of them here. And apart from K-drama actually, which I will explain later, the whole Korean culture has been getting to me a lot, and I think it's because it's really fun and interesting and I really love the food aspect as well. I've been cooking a lot of Korean dishes. It's actually one of the reasons I got into cooking this summer. So yeah, I'm gonna list down all of my favorite Korean things here. Actually for a time earlier this year, I frequented the uh, Korean Mart near my place but since it's currently on lockdown, we cannot go out. So the best I can do now is like order instant noodles from online shops that sell them. Like I usually get like some shin ramyun and some of the noodles like the chapagetti and neoguri so I could make some ramdon when I'm craving for it. So also fun fact, I really love a peach. I don't know if it's like a gender but this character is really cute and I also got these stickers for What's Wrong with Secretary Kim from a local shop in the local. Um, I believe this is by Heart Cheek Studios. I'll also link it down below. Uh, What's Wrong with Secretary Kim is one of the funniest ones that I've watched recently. This was before uh, I actually filmed this during the crash landing on you, you know, when everyone was in that craze, but I've been really a huge Park Children fan since watching him on Fight For My Way, and then I watched Secretary Kim, and I also watched uh, She Was Pretty. Um, my mom actually watched She Was Pretty uh, yesterday, and she finished it, so I also watched a bit, so it's always nice to see him on screen. So let me know who is your favorite oppa. I don't really follow a lot of Korean celebrities, but um, I really liked Weightlifting Fairy also, so those are some of the series that really um, inspired my whole fascination with K-drama and I think it's just a nice break from reality to be honest like when I was when I was younger and I used to watch um, the early ones I watched are You're Beautiful with Jang Gun Sook also Boys Over Flowers of course and at the time I didn't really understand what the whole Korean thing was about and I also was like very much of a hopeless romantic back then but now because I'm an adult I know which ideals are real and like achievable and which are not and i don't know if that makes sense but for example one of my favorites which is fight for my way it's not because of the romance aspect but it's also because of how people talk about their dreams and how you see them struggle and i can really relate to um the characters because it was really a lot of internal retrospection and I guess it's called introspection and really getting into how the character feels and how his or her past experiences really help define how he or she goes about life. So wow, so deep right for Korean stuff but um, yeah, uh, apart from that, what am I doing? I'm just decorating some elements and I'm gonna proceed to write about them. So one of the life skills I think that I have is that I'm really good at watching K-drama. I can finish like a series in two days and that's such a bad thing. But it's one of my guilty pleasures if I'm really stressed out at work and I feel like I've done like half of it or I'm on break. That's what I do. And I remember um, vividly last fall when I was sick in Berlin and it was really cold like zero or one degree. I just spent the whole day watching She Was Pretty and cooking up a uh, noodle soup and that was basically it. And I really don't mind. But yeah, I think the whole 
culture of Korea has really taken over. And of course, there are things also like Dalgona coffee and um, Ramdon, which everyone has been doing. Actually, I tried just eating the jajangmyeon, instant, ja- instant jajangmyeon the other day and did, I really didn't like it. So I think I am also a sucker for Ramdon in general. So yeah, I think it's a very unique culture. Even the food that I prepare that is Korean, at first I wasn't used to it. But as someone who really likes spicy food, I am really generally invested in the taste and the umami that it gives. And I love Japanese food as well, but for the spicy ones, I always go for Korean. So here I'm just writing like some sort of autograph book. My favorites. Oh, I forgot to mention like skincare. Korean skincare and makeup is really also something that I love about Korea. So yeah, my favorite character is a peach. Also brown from Line and Mang from the BTS um, lineup. Favorite city is Busan. My na- favorite neighborhood is Hongdae in Seoul. I really love it there. And my favorite beauty brand is 3CE. I also love Etude House um, and many more. And also my favorite Korean YouTuber. As of this writing, it's NA. But actually, I do watch Ondo Vlog. I don't know if you're familiar with it. And also Hey Green Doll. So I love their um, daily life vlogs. It's very inspiring. And yeah, I'm writing down also some of my favorite BTS songs. Actually, I've gotten into Zumba lately by this Korean instructor called Sunny. And she has BTS songs, so it's really nice to dance to them. And it's also quite hard, but I really, really enjoy it. So some of my go-tos, I'm also listing down some of my favorites. So I actually miss traveling. If I could, I would go to Seoul or Busan right now because my visa... Is supposedly expiring I think this year or next year I got like a really good like five-year deal for it but yeah no traveling until everything um, is safe so my preferred season is actually the autumn season because I went there in 2016 during the autumn season I really loved it and my favorite neighborhood is also um, Goro Sugil it's in Gangnam it's a very posh neighborhood but I like the vibe and I also went to a lot of tourist spots, but my favorites would be Gamcheon Cultural Village in Busan and in Nami Island. Street food, of course, you can never go wrong with fish cakes and tteokbokki. My favorite stationery shop is 10 by 10 It's a really nice, quaint shop. It's not, it's not similar to Artbox, but I also love Artbox all the same. My favorite lifestyle shop is Jaju. It's also found inside Garosugyo, so it's a very like Muji-esque kind of lifestyle store so i really liked it so fave k drama it's going to be um a lot of different k dramas but again my personal favorite is once wrong with secretary kim and the second one is she was pretty i love she was pretty for the reason that it's also about um publishing i really am interested in the whole world of publishing and the storyline is really funny and c1 is such a great actor my third one, as I mentioned earlier, is also um, by Park So Joon. It's Fight For My Way. It's actually my personal favorite among the three. But She Was Pretty comes in a tie, so I don't know. But I love all of them, all the same. And the fourth one is Crash Landing On You. It's very adult, and I actually liked it. And I'm currently watching a Taiwan class. Don't judge me, but I'm not finished. But I really like it so far, so it's a very interesting um storyline and not the usual romance k-drama kind of thing so yeah i'm just heading on to decorate some of my elements as you can see here just to make everything as a whole i actually like decorating the spread i think it comes with a bias because i love anything korean so yeah i hope you enjoyed this really simple setup video with a specific theme thanks for watching this video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye